Mom. I lost my passwords again, man. This this is about to drive me uh, off the wall. I'm gonna throw this phone out the window. Do something about it, please. Say it nicely. Please. Please what? Please do something about my passwords on please, my phone. Please help you reset your Google password? Yes, that's what I'm trying to ask. Okay. So today I've got a great tutorial for you. This is something I do all the time is reset Google passwords and recover Google passwords. So this is probably the most common thing I do. I, this is ridiculous how many people lose their Google passwords, but that's okay. If you don't know your Google password, you've gotten a new device and you've got to sign back in and you want to bring back all of your backups, you want to bring in your contacts, your pictures, you can bring in lots and lots of stuff. And this is how you do it. Okay. Now, this is my X Pure. That is my Supra. And it's best to have two devices handy when you're doing this and you're about to find out why. So you want both the old and the new. We're going to call this one the old and this one the new. Okay, first we're going to set it up. And yes, copy my data. All right, y'all can't watch this part. Okay, so we're signed into the Wi-Fi. Click accept. And you got to wait. It's going to do all this good stuff. Now you want to pick back up from the cloud and you're going to sign in with your Google account this is the part where you enter your email and since everyone has my email I'm going to let you see this part You put in your email address. Now, many people are shocked to find out and shocked to learn that they even have a Gmail. Watch this. In your old device, if you don't know your email address, this is what you're gonna do. Go into your settings. Because honestly, you're, a lot of times this is the only time you ever use your email address okay Google account and you want to see what your old device is backed up with you want the same account on your new device as you have on your old device so this is where everything is backed up so that's what I've put in right here then you're going to click next and I don't remember my password. It's been so long since it's been used. I don't remember my password. Click forgot password. There are multiple ways that you can do this. You can try entering an old password. We're going to try another way. Now, it's going to ask. And see, these are the old uh these are this is everything that i have with this account on it and yes we're going to do that google will send you a notification to your phone to verify that it's you yes that is one way but we want to try another way when you have this what you want to do is make sure your old device and your new device are both on wi-fi or have an lte signal and are able to receive data because you're going to get um, just a little message. Now that's one way. Now everything has this option. We're going to go to try another way. You can do a text message with a verification code. And if your SIM card is in your new phone, then that's not the best idea either because your SIM card is going to get the message. And if your new phone's not set up yet, you're not going to be able to get that. So we're going to do this. I don't have my phone. 
And this is a verification code email. I do not recommend that. It takes all day to get it. Try another way. There's one thing I'm going for here. Nobody ever knows when they made their Google account. No, we don't want to do that one either. Try again. There is one way and it's not giving it to me. So we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and do verification code. Try another way. Yes. Okay, so it did send the verification code, and it did show my location, so I did not let you see that. Y'all are a bunch of stalkers. Um, and all you do is going to click on, and it'll say, are you trying to sign into Google, yes or no, and you click yes, and that's all you have to do. It's very simple. One other way, and it did not give me this option, that's the one I really wanted to show you, is it's going to ask you to enter a code. It's going to ask you, uh, do you have such and such device with you? And you click yes, and it's going to send you a code. And what you do to get that code, then it does give you instructions. You go in here in your settings, Google, account, scroll over, to security and you want to go right here security code and there you have codes now I do not fear y'all using my codes because they don't work unless they're supposed to work so there's your codes and they also erase after 15 minutes but that's all you gotta do is put one of those codes and you get to if one doesn't work use the other one but make sure it's on Wi-Fi and now we're going to make a new password not gonna let you see that either okay so now I've made my new password and I'm going to agree to terms and conditions of Google it's going to continue to bring in my backups because I did make sure that I was completely backed up and on your old device you're gonna see this did you just sign in yes you just signed in so don't worry about that now all you have to do is pick out which one you want to back up clearly the e5 super backup that's the one I want because that is this phone and there's everything that's gonna be brought in restore next and that's it that's all there is to it no I don't want to do a fingerprint more 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 agree next yeah, okay, we can turn that on. I don't care. Skip. Next. All set. And now it's bringing everything in. And to make this go a little faster is what we're going to do next while this is restoring. Okay, this is just another part of the process. Agree. And you don't have to agree to that. and there we are now my device settings did not go back in but that's okay because I've deleted that particular background from my device and I can always put in another one it's not an issue let's see what else we need to bring in check my contacts there they are and Google Photos you want to make sure that you do that first or you're not going to get your pictures my contacts are already here, but if they were not, this is what I would do. Go into the settings, scroll down to Google, and go here to restore contacts. And it will give you a list of the contacts that you have. This is my old Blade X. Well, something kicked me out. Oh, Google Photos. But you're going to see all of the ones that you have backed up. See, there's my Blade X. And then there's this one, because I've deleted all the rest of them. That one is my X Pure. And it might have one or two contacts in it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Restore. It might have one or two contacts that I don't have in this one. But there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you bring in your everything else from your old phone to your new phone. Let's see if my text came in. Nope, they did not come in. Oh, yeah, they did. Looky there. There's my text. 
So even my text messages came in. That's a big deal for a lot of people. It's whether or not their text messages have come in or not. Um, and as you see, they have. Now you will have to sign back in to all of your accounts and all of your um, Facebook, your Messenger, your Instagram, whatever it is you have. But as you can see, these are all the same apps I had on my phone to begin with. And they are all coming back in. Now you'll not, you won't be able to use them until they're fully updated. So keep that in mind and you will have to sign back into them all. And there you go. That's all you need to know about bringing back your contacts. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Leave a like, drop a comment if you have any more questions. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that and ring my bell and get the notifications. And if you're wondering what I am shooting this with today, considering both of my devices are in front of me, I'm using the Moto Tab. It doesn't have the best sound, but it does have a decent enough camera. So thank you all for watching. Y'all have a fantastic day. Okay, and if you're curious as to what I'm shooting this with today, considering there's both of my devices right there, I'm using my Moto Tab. Um, and in the description, there's going to be a bunch of links, and one of those is to my blog, uh, Lady Red's Awesome Stuff. And that is a big shopping portal, basically, and all the stuff I like, not just my tech stuff, but all kinds of stuff. Everything that Lady Red loves is going to be there, so go ahead and head on over and check that out. And if you want to pick anything up, then there's going to be links all over the page to take you directly to Amazon to get that. And every device I use in every video will now be featured in the description with a link to Amazon to purchase it. So go ahead and check that out. And as always, my tip jar is down there in my email for all um, business inquiries. If you want to hit me up, that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have an awesome day. See you in the next video.